it's Sunday and it's the first day of Agritechnica. Anyway, there's been loads of pictures floating around online of all the different things that are happening there. I'll be there on Tuesday from around dinner time until Friday. First stop will be the class stand because they've got some pretty cool things on it. They've obviously got the crawler on there that you can see now. I believe they've got an electric telehandler as well. They've got the 50th anniversary class Jaguar with a cool paint job. John Deere are there. They've uh, got a sprayer. So they bought a sprayer manufacturer out and um, they've obviously sprayed it up in their colors of that's on there. They've got a crawler stood on its end. Don't know why, but it's there. So as you can see in the pictures now. And then uh, I think Bush tires and, and Ascenso tires have got their tires on a Lamborghini tractor, which looks amazing. There's just so many good things that I can't wait to see. I think Horsch have got some massive drills as well, which we're going to go and have a look at. And also Merlot are there with a bigger electric Merlot as well. So yeah, no, should be really good. Loads of people say they're going. I put a thing on Instagram and Facebook and loads of people have commented on it. So you'll probably see quite a lot of you all out there. The new quad track is there as well, actually, and the classes version of the quad track, as well as the half track version. So I'm going to try and get a picture of of all them as well as the new big Massey that's launched and the new big S series Valtra that's launched. There's also this, the I can't remember how you pronounce it, but this, is it Ag Seed? Autonomous tractors there. They were gonna bring us one of them on demo in the summer, but obviously the wet weather, it never turned up. And also that sort of like concept machine, it's like tracks at either end and you put like a seed deck in the middle or a combine in the middle or whatever. That's there as well on display. So really looking forward to it. So I'm heading off tomorrow dinner time. Anyway, while I'm in here, I'll do the birthdays, then got to take James over to my mum's, and then I'm going to show you the Tarbuck sale catalogue as well. You always think of Australia as being hot and dry. Well, anyway, Hannah's out there now doing a harvest, and they've got rain. Here it is. It's not actually rain at the moment, so I'm going to walk across to my mum's. She's going to watch James. Charlotte's got to go to the hospital to be sort of like discharged by the midwife. And then we're gonna splash in puddles. No, I'm gonna show you back, back by popular demand. I'm gonna show you that sale catalog from when Tarbuck Estate was sold. So everyone was asking so many questions the other day about it. So I'll show you that also. Saw loads of motorbikes on the motorway today. I thought that they were getting a little bit of police support for their convoy, which is something that we're not getting at the moment for ours at Christmas, but We'll keep some pressure on and see if uh, the Chief Constable can come up with a solution for us. Anyway, there's the motorbikes on the motorway. Is this uh, Manchester Police Force assisting all the bikes that ride in the yellow, the red tops for farmers this day? <laughs>
Yeah, so back by popular demand. Uh, I think the our farms dates to 1709. This is was, was the sale. So I'm not going to show you every single page. Well, I am going to show you every single page. But if you want to see more, you'll have to pause it, I would say. And then you can read all about the whole estate. Most of the prices that were sold have been written on. Man, out of the way, dog. Get down. Down. Sorry. Yeah, so if you wanted to pause on each particular page, you could read all about it. In fact, I'll stand up and you'll be able to see better. So I'll do it quick. So that anyone that's not interested won't get too bored of this video. It's, it's funny though, like, it's a long time ago, but in some ways it's not. Because a lot of these places haven't changed much at all, and obviously the names are still the same. The farm here, though, originally was called Brunt Boggart, which meant Burnt Ghost. But it's now Water Lane, which is very apt at the moment because there's water absolutely everywhere. Another 15 mil forecast tomorrow. So there's the brick wall. That was a pub. It's now the Cattery. Highly fertile arable farm. Not just sure who lives at that one. The old thatch cottage. Millbridge farm. That's still there, yew tree farm. There was actually quite a few yew tree farms, which is strange really, because yew is actually very dangerous to cows and cows eat yew can kill them but yeah there was quite a few yew tree farms my uncle charles lived at one by the airport as well that was called yew tree farm and that would not have been part of this estate the most attractive building site what's that 200 feet of frontage at wheat hill road it's got gas as well <laughs> no way like someone would find this each page very interesting if they want to pause it. Hopefully you'll be able to zoom in and read it all. I think you can. Large brick and slate cottage, 220 pounds. The adjoining cottage, 130. The old ground rent. Miss your room and caretaker cottage. Situated at Whitefield Lane End. <laughs> you have some land on Whitefield Lane. Oh, it's got a ton of pages with one hand, really. In through it now, anyway. There you go, front Boggart Farmhouse. So that is where it's now Water Lane. So that's across the road where Mum and Dad's bungalow is. Fell down because of the mining substance. Some of these, like Daggers Bridge Farm, I think that's the one that the motorway went through when they built the 500 motorway. Higher Park Farm, that's still there across the way. The adjoining Yew Tree Farm, that's still there as well. The Yew Tree Farm. There you go, Brunt Boggart Farm. 1,800 pounds, 117 acres. Back in, what was it, 19? Date to be saying well, Tuesday the June the first. Don't say the date, does it? I think we decided it was nineteen nineteen oh seven. Where have we got to now? Yeah, but we were up to here, weren't we? Somewhere. Yeah, your Brunt Boggart Farm. So that's this farm, like I say. We've got some more there. Can't turn that page. Dog Clog Cottage, that's next door. Across Hillocks Farm. 
spring farm. So I think that's that's Bennett's spring field farm as well. There's the conditions of sale. That's a lot of small print. And then a lot more small print. Followed by more small print and then a Morena random or whatever you pronounce it. Then this says lots drawn, I think, or units drawn. 21 sold private and then the rest sold. And that must be the whole amount added together, I would say. So you've got 6,373 and then 13,957. So if you add them together, I presume that will give you what the total price was of the whole estate. Oh, 1926, which was 2,200 acres, 20 corn and potato growing farms, 10 small houses, 40 good detached and semi-detached cottages, ripe building plots and three quarters of an acre with company water, gas and drainage available. And that's been glued on, so it suggests the date must have changed or, the, or wherever the sale was gonna be. But yeah, there you go, there's a bit of history of Tarbuck. Now, is there any dodgy names on today's birthday bumper? Also a little bit of a quiz question. Do I take the marker pen with me and do it from Agri Technica or do I get Ian to do it at home? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, dead quick today. We've got Cassie's third birthday. Dale Mortis is on there, he's 50. Carol Wright, Stephen's mum is 66. Stephen's getting on really well actually at the moment with the model farm. I'll show you that tomorrow. Adam, Hip Show Farm. Adam from Hip Show Farm. Christopher Pilling's 32. Simon. Later is 45, Charlie Gould's on there, and Adam Christie, and we're now at £51,756. Anyway, today's video has probably not been to everyone's taste. We've shown you the, the, the history of Tarbuck. I know the kids probably didn't enjoy it, and um, some of the others had to fast forward through it, but for those that were, it's all there, and it's recorded forever now on the internet. So, yeah, I'm going to say thanks for watching today. It's a, I haven't done any work today. It's raining, there's 15 mil forecast tomorrow. I'm excited for going to Agritechnica, but I'm only really about 80% because the weather is so bad. We've not done it for a while. Let us know in the comments how you're feeling today and uh, as a percentage. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Sorry, actually, one last thing. Don't forget to check out The Real Country File today. I'm going to put the link below this video. And if you're at Agritechnica already, keep your eye out for Jonathan and Morgan. You can't miss that mullet. Right, Joe Seal's ending, double ending. See you later.